Hello everybody, this is Garrison for Real once again, brought to you by the YouTube. Today I'm going to be for real. Um, for a while, over, not for a while, for most of my life, I have dealt with negative people. Um, some came in the form of parents. Love you, Mom. I know we repaired our bridge. I don't mean nothing about it now. Some has came in the form of friends. Some has came in the form of bosses, co-workers, town gossips, whatever. And for the longest time, I let that negativity affect me. Over and over and over and over and over again. And when you let negativity affect you, it does not make you a very happy-go-lucky guy. It makes you a very ticked off guy. Because it's not good in the form of a six foot seven, three hundred some pound man. You know, and sometimes it does not make, it does not help that I think negative about myself. You know what I mean? I don't feel like I'm ever going to be good enough for anything. Anything. But then, I found my wife, who is one of the most positive thinkers that I ever met. She tells me, Chris, you need to get rid of the negativity. Get rid of the toxic people in your life. Chris, you know, you, you can always do something. You're more than capable of doing something. And she's been a real big help. Um, for me, as much as it was helpful, it also caused um, issues with myself where I needed to make decisions about people that I do have in my life. Um, decisions about people who did treat, who claim to be friends. People who claim to be acquaintances and stuff like that. Do I need to keep them in my life or do I just get rid of them? And that was, that was a very tough decision. You know, and I battle with myself over and over saying, Chris, they are blowing you off every chance they get. They don't really want to hang out with you. And when they do, they want you to do something for them, you know. But other than that, they were never really that kind to you. They never really, you know. And if someone tells them I did something, they don't ever get to the second side of the story. They just, <coughs> they just go ahead and fly with it. Remember, there's always two sides of a story. Um, but, when I was... Thinking about this, I, I never did. I never really cut them out. You know, I might cut them out for a couple of weeks, a couple, maybe a month at the, the most. And then, because I'm a caring person, I'm also what well, they call a Christian. I'm not the best of Christ, being a Christian. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not judgmental by any means, uh, but I was really caring, so I forgive them when. When they come back in, and then I pay for it again. Then I pay for it again. Then I pay for it again. You know what I mean? Something will always be said about me, and then they will believe it, and then they will ignore me or blow me off or treat me like crap. You know? And I'm, I'm here to I'm being honest with you. I don't have a great life right now in certain aspects of life. I am jobless. I have some health issues that I'm trying to figure out, mainly with my throat. Um, I have anxiety, mostly due from negative people in my life, you know. And I know for a fact it's not easy to cut people out of your life. I've done it. You know, when 
There was a time when me and my mom could not get along whatsoever. You know, and for about a couple months after my dad died, we got had some issues, and eventually I had to cut mom out of my life for a while. You know, but finally we were able to repair the relationship, and I'm glad for that to this day. But there's some relationships that aren't worth repairing. There's some relationships that are worth just letting go forever. Because it's not worth it. Because this is why I want to really get out there. True friends do not treat you like crap. True friends, you know, help you even when they have problems of their own. True friends build you up. True friends don't want... They don't mind if you're, you're ahead of them in life. Because there's some, I had some of those friends who were, it was like a game. You know, where we were at. You know, oh, he's getting ahead of me in life. You know, he's doing a little bit better than me. That kind of thing. I had that. That's not a true friend. True friend wants you to be positive. True friend builds you up and put you on a positive road. I know, I know from experience that those aren't true friends. And I'm letting you know, whoever's watching this video, it's not going to be easy. But you cut out that negativity. You get rid of toxic people. They're not worth nothing for you. All they're going to do is hold you down. That's all they're going to do. It took me 35 years to get to that point and learn that. It does not make me happy to do it. it. Does not make me, does not give me any pleasure. And it's quite painful to think about doing it, but it has to be done because it's not worth it. It's, in the long run, it will be worth it. Yeah, I know. I know. It just sounds like. You just have to get rid of the negative people, regardless of who they are. Family, friends, bosses, co-workers, whatever. You know, maybe even yourself. You don't get rid of yourself like that, though. You know, you just have to work on yourself harder. Give yourself a more positive outlook. Think about, because it's, whatever dark hole you're in, believe me, there's been times where I wanted to end it. There's always a light. Always. You know. Because it could be the darkest around you. And I guarantee you, there will be a glimmer of light sooner or later. And you just have to hold on. Just my message of the day is just get rid of the negativity. It's not worth it not worth your pain. It's not worth your emotional pain. Whatever physical, ang physical, physical anguish that you put through yourself, it's not worth it. You know? It's just not. I learned that the hard way. I'm sure a lot of people have. And so for some people who may be viewing this or who may not, trust me, it's worth it in the end. Anyway, this is Garrison for real. Just being real. You know, about real life this time, I guess. And I'll see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, share the video if you think there's anybody out there who needs to get rid of some negativity. And I'll see you next time.